To truly test the metal of an off-road tire, you have to go somewhere pretty extreme. Now frankly, BF Goodrich probably could have got away with taking us to Arizona or even Texas. But no, they wanted to take things to the max. So here we are in Baja, Mexico, the mecca of off-roading, to test the all-new All-Terrain TA KO2. So let me give you the absolute basics on this. BF Goodrich took what was already known to be a pretty tough tire and they've made it even tougher. Now the KO2, it has a little bit of a different tread pattern, but the real story is just how much stronger the tire is. The sidewalls in this tire are 20% stronger and it's much more resistant to going flat. Not only that, but the tread wear is improved on gravel and on the pavement. One of the biggest design changes comes at the shoulder of the tire, where the actual tread has been angled a little bit. Now, that not only helps to dig into that really deep snow or deep sand, but it also sheds off rocks and it sheds water off the tire, which just gives you more grip. But of course, I can stand here and we can riddle off technical specs all day about these sort of tires. What really matters is when the rubber hits the road. So let's go out there on the trails and let's see how these tires actually handle real world conditions. out on the trail and we have been beating on these tires. We've been in sand, we've been in dirt, but the craziest thing is the massive loose rocks that we've been running through. These things look like they would chew through a sidewall like a butter knife slices through butter and these tires have held up so well. And of course you can't talk about a tire like this without mentioning the traction. Now in these BC cars, they're mid-engine cars, so it's not too hard to hang the rear end out in a corner and these tires, they do let you slide around a bit, there's no doubt about it, because look, we're running in deep sand. But when you get out of the corner and you nail that throttle, it shoots you out of there. They just grab the sand. It's, it's pretty unbelievable. We even had a chance to run through a few water crossings. And another thing that BF Goodrich has done is they've actually put in these tiny little bumps, which are meant to eject mud off the tire, because again, you don't want things sticking in your tread. And the second we get through there, the mud's flying right off the tire. 30 seconds later, the whole tire is clean. It just does a great job of ejecting any debris that you don't want. We also had a chance to run them on Ford Raptors. And that's something that you might be able to buy right out of the factory. These are off the shelf tires. These are not specific race tires. And yet we're out here in these insane harsh conditions and they're just eating it up and they're asking for more. Really, truly unbelievable. Now you saw it for yourself. We were not taking it easy out there today. We beat on these tires and none of them had issues. Now I can't personally speak to the longevity of this tire, but a BC car in last year's Baja 1000 won its class using TAKO2s and those exact same tires are still out here running around in Mexico today. If you're in the market for new off-road rubber, you're definitely going to want to check out the BFG TAKO2.